My God. Kiefer Sykes just got himself a second NBA contract. This guy, if you guys do not know who Kiefer Sykes is, I made a video about him a little bit ago, but this guy got his name of claim to fame, you could say. First off, like and subscribe if you're an Indiana Pacers fan, if you're a Kiefer Sykes fan. This guy has played everywhere. But the way that he got his claim to fame this past offseason was, I believe it was the basketball tournament, he hit the game-winning shot. And as a result, when he hit that game-winning shot, he signed with the NBA. And it's crazy because this guy graduated from the University of Wisconsin Green Bay. He's played for the Austin Spurs. He's played in the Korean Basketball League. He's also played in the Basketball Super League, which is the Turkish Basketball League. He's played in Liga Basketball Series A, which is the highest Italian Basketball League. And then he's also played in the Australian Basketball League, the National Basketball League, and now he's in the NBA. And he dropped a 20 burger, okay? And I want to, this guy is awesome. This guy is awesome. He's a Chicago native, okay? And he was actually teammates with Alfonso McKinney, who right now is a is on the Chicago Bulls. And it was awesome, okay? It was awesome because we got to see a great story, okay? And Kiefer Sykes went out there and played an efficient brand of modern-day basketball. And it was amazing because this was a guy who a few months ago on August 3rd hit the game-winning shot in the basketball tournament. So they'd hit the a $1 million like prize, and that was amazing. It was an incredible story, okay? And he's came out here. He had 10 points the night before, but tonight the 28-year-old rookie, okay? He was 4 for 8 from 3. He was just splashing everything. He had a steal. He had a few assists, got 4 rebounds, 5 assists, and 22 points. And it was an incredible game, okay? And he showed. He's six foot, okay? He's only six foot, but he's showing that he has the capability to be a good scorer off the bench for an NBA team who realizes how to utilize him correctly. There's more and more stories like this because this is just so much fun to watch to see a guy work his ass off and achieve his dream that he's been working for. And I know they didn't get the dub tonight, but what the dub we saw tonight was for Kiefer Sykes, who I really hope gets an ex an extension for the rest of the year because he deserves it. And it's just an incredible story to go from hitting the game-winning shot in the basketball tournament to playing in the NBA, you know. That's what that's where dreams are, are made of, you know, being the kid and you're playing basketball in your backyard and dreaming of getting that shot to play in the league and this is what this guy's done he got that shot and he's making the most of it and that's where it's just like holy shit that's just such an inspirational story and i really hope they give him his a contract because my opinion i think he deserves it okay what do you guys think do you guys agree with me that he deserves it or am i wrong okay i i just think it's just such a fun story and you, I honestly think you just want the best for the cat, okay? And I think, honestly, I mean, they have, what, Dwayne Washington Jr. as their... They have a few point guards there, but if they're really going into a rebuild, I mean, play some Kiefer Sykes, you might get some tickets sold. It's And it's also kind of crazy to think about that this team is rebuilding. How Like, the Pacers on paper aren't bad, and I just... It sucks that they're rebuilding because they're a good team, okay? They're fun to watch, and they have a lot of skill. And you felt like they're only a few pieces away of being actually good. So that's where I'm, I just sit here and I'm like, damn. It's interesting to think, you know, sometimes you think about squads and you're just like, hmm. But yeah, Kyfer Sykes, what an incredible story for the young man living his dream. And that's all you can ask for is just the best. Man, again, I think it's an incredible story. And if you look at this team... Where, where could Kiefer Sykes fit in? Like and subscribe to help the channel. But I think Kiefer Sykes could really fit himself behind, you know, Malcolm Brogdon and challenge, you know, Dwayne Washington Jr. for the backup point guard spot. Because really this team doesn't have a backup point guard. So you could argue that, hey, they need one. I mean, they have TJ McConnell, who's awesome. But TJ McConnell's out with the surgery for a while. 
But besides that, there's nobody behind Brogdon. So I think he's in a situation where it could work out in his favor, you know? But hey, that's just me speculating. You don't even know if it's going to happen. That's basically what I wanted to talk about. I really don't have anything else to say. It was awesome. It was a great story to see happen. And I really hope the best for him, okay? I really do. I hope everything goes great. That's it for me today, guys. Peace. Oh.